Hmm. That looks like rain. And that looks like a mountain. And that looks like a tree. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Journey of Life. Uh, as you can see, it's a nice, beautiful day here, and uh, I've been doing a little bit of work on the, the house here, as you can see. I'm a little ramp in here right now. I was just looking to see if there's any stairs or anything, anything we could put here, but there isn't. Well, there's stairs we can put, but they have to be put on the floor, so i got to use this ramp instead. And uh, there we go. It looks like garbage right now. I don't know what's going on with the mouse. I'm sorry about the, the menu coming up. Uh, I'll have to look into it. I thought maybe it had something to do with the way out the game was being displayed. I had it on windowless, windowless board, or borderless window, I should say. And uh, it was still doing it, so I switched it to full screen. It's still doing it, so I don't know what it is. But as you can see, I have been doing some uh, experimentation, I guess you could say, browsing the, the palette of the building aspect of the game. And this is stone. This is actually one past uh, planks. And you remember the wall I did here? And the planks, I did that in the stone. And I actually like the brick look with the the angled pillars like that. It's a nice building style. I like it. Uh, one of the things I'm starting to realize, though, is because uh, this has a health of 400. With this cheap hammer, it doesn't seem to do much. So what I wanted to do today is I want to go back over to that cave there and do some mining. Is that... Oh, I thought I saw something. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, I've done a little bit of organization here. I've made a whole bunch of chests, and i got everything sort of organized. That's, uh, uh, these are the thatch chests. They only have 10 slots, but then you go over to the wooden chest here, and it's got 20. Now, here's something, I don't know if uh, anyone, any of you remember this from the previous playthrough I was doing, but you can actually move chests that have inventory. So as you can see, i got feathers and coconuts and a leaf in there. I can actually go up there. I can actually move the whole chest around, put it right over there, and the items are still inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as another backpack. I actually have one here that's that's empty already. I'm going to take this with me over to the mine, and I'm going to gather up all the rocks that I can, because, uh, you know, we're going to need a stone anyways. So, do this, we'll put that back there. Um, well, yeah, i got to look into that. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a direct raw issue or something. Uh, I also want to bring, uh, I was messing around with a torch to, or was it, I had a torch in here somewhere, oh yeah, I threw it on the ground because it was garbage, uh, they don't last very long, you get a hundred seconds out of them, and then you gotta use, the, you gotta drop it on the ground and use the fire starter to actually light it, so it's a bit awkward, but, if I bring some stones with me, I can't make a campfire, uh, do have branches, I'll take the sticks instead. I'm sure we could actually bring them along. Uh, anyway, let me gather some stuff and I'll meet you, at, meet you at the cave. And here we are. And it doesn't look like anything's respawned, so it should be good. Uh, so, let me uh, get that out of the way. Yeah, that's a bit annoying, but eh, it's early access. They're still developing it. Like, like I said, they just completely rewrote the game. And it looks like stuff respawned, because I don't remember... Pretty sure I took those out, which is good. So the reason why I brought the, the stones with me is I want to actually make a campfire here. Uh, there we go. Go ahead and make a campfire. We'll put that there. And I gotta build it. It's funny how you gotta use a hammer to put some rocks in a ring. Just saying. Anyway, put some fuel in there. Go ahead and light it. And give it give me a little bit of light. Uh, let me find my pickaxe here. Doesn't do too much. So what I want to do is I want to go through and I want to get sto all the stone I can get. What's this? Was that coal? Oh, it's stone. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was the thing I noticed about that bush behind uh, the house too that respawned. Uh, it had a health of only uh, min negative two. So as soon as I hit it, it disappeared. Just like this. And I probably won't get any drops from it. I do. Ooh. Bug exploit. Let's actually go explore in here a little bit. See what we can see. Meanwhile, the campfire is burning away, just wasting the fuel. I definitely need better tools, though. 
At least I'm hoping that like a cop pickaxe is gonna do a lot better than a stone one. At least we're not using a wooden pickaxe. This isn't Minecraft after all. Oh, copper. Don't mind if I do. What's that down there? Stone, may as well. We're gonna need a whole bunch of stone. Now I know there's other things we get like tin too. And I believe there is iron at some point in time. Uh, anyways, I'm going to do a little bit of mining here. I'm going to grab whatever copper I can. And I will meet you back at home. So I decided to dig the cave a little bit. And it came in from that side. That's where the opening is. And it goes quite the ways. Impressive. Anyway, I don't want to get lost. So I thought I'd just show you that. This cave is actually quite big. And, uh, curious to see what we'll find in there eventually. Also, too, I was having uh, issues with energy. Uh, hang on one second, I gotta, gotta sneeze. There we go. That's one thing about doing recordings and not streaming, is nobody has to listen to that. Anyway, uh, let's see what else we got over here. I don't like this really much. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna gather up some copper. I don't have too much right now, just eight pieces. So, I will be back. So I decided to venture into the cave a little bit more just to find more copper. And I actually found tin. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna grab some of this to take it home. And uh, I think that's tin there too, isn't it? No, that's stone. I thought it's something looked a little different in here. Anyway. Wow. Tin's tough. Copper and stone's only a hundred, but tin, which I I could be wrong, but I always thought it was a soft softer metal, was it not? But, uh, yeah, it takes a little bit. We'll see what we actually get out of this chunk. Probably only gonna give me one piece. Just because that's how it is, right? We all know it is. Mind you, at this point I should be using copper tools instead of trying to black at it with a stone pickaxe. And, uh, there we go. And I gotta find it. Wait for the debris to go. Uh... I'm noticing stuff's been ending up underneath rocks too, so I might actually have to excavate to find it. And probably went right down in here somewhere. Anyway, I'll be back. So, I was having a bit of a stamina issue. I got myself into a bit of a hole here and I couldn't jump out, and then it got dark. So I lit the campfire. I built the campfire and. I couldn't find my way out of here if I tried. I really can't. I'm kind of lost, so I gotta stay here the night and hope no giant spiders come out and eat me throughout the night. I know they won't. And it's just a matter of me waiting for the sun to come up, so I shall see you in the morning. Okay, I'm back. I was able to find my way out last night. Uh, saw a little gap in the rocks that showed some light through the cave entrance and I worked my way through there. Uh, stamina was an issue. Apparently you gotta wait a few minutes for her to start going back up. So after you jump nine times, that's it. You can't go anywhere. Anyways, we are back. I did find that tin that I had there. And I do have some copper. So uh, let's go ahead and process this stuff. How much fuel do we have in there? We have enough fuel. So let's go ahead and fire this up. See if I remember actually how to do this. Now I think this ore, like the copper, goes on here first. And it goes there and it gets processed into processed ore. And I kinda Oh yeah. No no no. What am I doing here? Do I right click it? Or how about I do this? No, that's not gonna work. Okay, well this has to heat up, so... Oh yeah, it actually tells me that it's doing it. As you can see, the little icon tells me that it's processing the copper, which has to be 111.30, I should say. Uh, smelting duration, I'm just guessing that's how long it's got to be at that temperature for it to smelt. So, I'm going to need some more fuel in here, of course. Is to keep that temperature up and smelt the progress and the fire went out of course it did I figured it would have kept on going 
But anyways, uh, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna hammer all this stuff out, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I got all the copper done. I'm just fin doing up the tin now. If you're gonna do the tin while we're at it, just... We'll have to do it eventually. Um, I decided I'm not gonna be making too many bronze or tin I things until I find a better supply of this. Maybe there's more there, I just can't see it because it looks like the stone. But I do have 24 nuggets on me, which I think should be able to make us all the tools we need. Maybe even some nails to do a few things. Maybe, maybe get that bed fixed or built. We shall see. But, uh, there we go. Now we got tin. So I'm pretty sure now I gotta make some molds. Like I know the the whole tool processing, tool pro, tool making process is different now because now we actually have different molds, right? They go in here, and that's not what I'm looking for. It's gonna be in here. So as you see, there is no actual pick molds anymore. No pick, no axe, no shovel. So I believe. We need a hammer heads and there's a map. We don't have a map yet. It's that copper ingot plier pliers. I guess we're gonna have to make a pair of those too. So we're gonna make some copper ingots. So where are these molds? They're in here somewhere. I'll find them. Right here. Okay, so I need a lot of clay. So we're gonna need I don't know why we need a separate mold for copper, tin, and bronze, and iron. Oh, hey, clay bricks. Cool. Anyway, uh, what was I doing here? I am um, clay. Hey, I found the right chest. Sweet. I'll take two stacks. And that means we'll have to use the clay furnace again. So we'll make, let's see, one of those. And I don't think we really need anything else right now. Don't really plan on making any more than that. Uh, what was the anvil? I know the anvil is where you gotta start making tools from in here somewhere. Anvil, one log and one copper ingot. Well, I guess we're making a bunch of copper ingots then. Or is baking, yes. Hopefully it's not a one-time use sort of deal. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and place this in there. What was that? And we have no fuel, of course not. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's not a stick, it's a torch, it may as well be a stick. I don't think it'll burn that long anyways. But that's fine, because once I get better tools, which means I'll be able to cut down trees so much faster, at least that's what I'm hoping. Now I'll remember to shut this thing off to, well, technically douse the fire. Now, can I spy on this? I wanna see if I can tell if it's ready or not. No, I can't. We have to do it the old fashioned way. Wait for it. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna wait for that and I'll be right back. They lied. A watch pot does boil. And it's done. Should be done. Yes, it is. Okay, let's go ahead and put this out, and where is it there, there we go, put that out, make sure that's out, you know we're burning wood here, it's not like it grows on trees or anything, close that, keep the heat in, not that way you don't have a big giant hole in the top, okay, so, um, let's get rid of that, here I was trying to figure out how to remove it before, and all I had to do was just hit E, alright, so we will do that, and then let's see what I got for fuel in here. I have enough. We'll go fire that up. And then I'm wondering, I wonder if we can stick a whole stack in here. All right, let's do six. That is six. It should be two ingots. And this will start melting right away. And wait for it. And mini foundry at home. my eight go. Uh oh. I broke the game. What did I do with it? Come on. 
Give me. Oh. Casting. Hmm. Oh, it's on the floor here somewhere. And some nuggets, apparently. Hmm. I did not see that. Alright, so that's one ingot. Let's go ahead and put another one down. I can do that. Oh. Oh. I'm a dumbass. Come on. We all know it. Okay. So now I need a block. Uh, a log block, it's called. Because that's what I need for the anvil. So let's uh, go cut down this tree right here. It's a fine candidate. Uh, at least you'd think. And stone tools suck. Doesn't matter what game you play, stone tools suck. You'd think it'd be okay though, because rocks can be sharp, but they do break fairly easy. Give me that log, and thank you. Let me go back over here. Get rid of that bush that has negative 14 health now. I think that's how they set it up to stop them from spawning back is to give them a ne negative health, but for some reason they don't go away because they need like, a block update or something like that. Well, an update, game update like Minecraft. All right, uh, get on there, we we'll go log block, and we start hammering, hammering. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to be a certain percentage that you have to, a certain number of times you have to hit it, or you have to, if you do actually have to hit it in certain areas. Yeah, you gotta go the whole length of it. This is just for now until I get the, until we start getting some wind power going. I know I should be focusing on that right now, but I want some better tools. And wood doesn't, and wood that doesn't fly everywhere. Okay, I'll grab that. That and that and all the way over here. I lost my I lost my wood. Anyway, let's not go there. Anyway, now go back into here, and then we gotta go and we gotta make two things. Uh, one, we need to make an anvil. Ooh. It's an actual anvil. Let's turn to ash. We gotta have it this way. Seems like every time I've seen an anvil in any game or anything like that, for some reason, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, the spiked end of it. It's always on the left, I don't know why. Alright, uh, construct mode. Alright. Now, it says this have any special things. I have no idea. Uh, I left the furnace going. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, let's turn this off for now. Get right on here, nope. Come uh, on, how do I put you out? Attach mold. Mold's not even attached, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, I'm all over the place. Can I not turn this thing off? Guess not. Alright, well that's a fuel waster. Uh, what was it doing here? Uh, oh yeah. We need tongs, which means I have to make another mold, or another ingot, uh, let's see, tools, nope, tools should be in here, yes, pliers, and I need those to move hot ingots, and where are they, there they are, I'm going to put those on hot bar 5, now I'm hoping I can use a stone hammer. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, pick up this mold. We'll put it back on and we'll get three more going, or another ingot going here. Oh, I don't know how I managed to turn that off, but I did. All right, and, and we'll split this over. Um, yeah, with that. Put three in there. Drop them in the hole. 
Go ahead and cast this, and I think I put the ingot up here to get it hot, and I move it over to the anvil and hammer it. And I'm assuming with the hammer there's uh, something you do with it. So, as you, I don't know if you saw when I picked it up, it has uh, a temperature thing. Now, I'm assuming this is how I do it. Probably not. Let's put it on the anvil and see what happens. Okay, well that's not going to work. Will that not work in here? Probably not. Let's go have a look at the workstation. See if there's something I'm missing here. Alright, stations. Alright. Press, sewing table, anvil. Forge. Ten bricks. Alright. So I need bricks and... And bricks are relatively cheap. Twenty clay. Twenty clay. Oh. Let's get out of there. Quit hitting the wrong buttons. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's getting dark, so as soon as this is done and I get the the forge crafted, I'll bring you back. I just know there's a typo here. I'm looking at waiting for the bricks to craft and at first I see copper ingot requires three nuggets of copper. Tin ingot requires three nuggets of tin. Bronze ingot requires tin and bronze ingot. Should be copper ingot. Anyway. Oh, bye. This is a big boy. Hmm. I don't think I got room up for it out here. Uh, yeah, right there ought to do it. Uh, where can we put this? Ah, we can always move it later. Put it over here. Put it right there. And I'll meet in the morning. Nothing like refreshing sleep, I tell you. Comfort doesn't beat that. So, what is that? Oh, that must be the anvil. All right, let's finish up our uh, forge here and check her out. Looks pretty good for clay bricks. All right, so what do we do here? All right, let's get some fuel. Running around with my uh, turtle backpack. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely gonna have to start dealing with the the fuel situation. I did not put logs in there. I might have to though. Can I not reach it? Oh, maybe it's wrong hotkey. Okay. Here I am just leaving my ingot there. Okay, and then we put that on there and let's see what it does. This has got to heat up. Okay. So I wonder how hot it has to be. Get our tongs ready. Because I don't know where the 300 is supposed to be. I'm sure it, once you hit max, it just melts. You know, you can actually see the temperature. Okay, and. And it's not hot enough. Alright. Let us wait, shall we? I hope we can upgrade this thing at some point in time, because this is ugly. Really ugly. Compared to this thing. I'm wondering if I can actually uh, process the ingots. No. Oh, 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 what's this? Aha! Okay, um, so what do I do here? Ah, I gotta move the anvil. 
Let's go for a copper head. A copper uh, hammer. And now it's too cold. Ah, can I move this? Can I move this with it on there? Nope. <laughs> Floating in it. Uh, just do it. Oh, hey, it snapped back on. Cool. Alright, well. You get the GIF. Uh, let me heat this back up. There we go. Actually, it shouldn't take too long. Because it's still somewhat there. Heat it up a little bit more because I think I, I could actually have to work it. I like that. At least it gives you a visual re representation to let you know it's done. Oh, stupid mouse. I blame the mouse on that. Alright. Two. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. I go copper head. Oh, that was quick. Cool. I had to check my the screen there. I saw something flicker. I thought maybe uh, uh, I wasn't recording or something. A short handle. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh, thank God. I thought we had to get into the lathe for that. And now I need sticks, which I burnt everything of. I have one left. <gasps> Kind of makes me wish I had made a, uh, an axe instead. Uh, uh, what was that looking for? Yeah. Short handle, short handle, short handle. One of those. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go and make... Uh, get a couple more ingots ready, and I think we'll make a few more tools. Make a pickaxe and make an axe as well, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm almost done here. So I've got the ingots made. I'm cooking up, uh, heating up the first one here. I'm going to put the second one on. And grab the first one. If I can. So let me grab it. Okay. I go over here, put it on here. And we are going to make an axe head. Go ahead and hammer that. And I love how it instantly cools down. And the next one will be ready shortly. Uh, let's go ahead and do I have any more sticks? Probably not. I burned burned through so many of them. Uh, no, we gotta find some sticks. Actually, I saw some sticks over here. Grab that, and then we'll check on the ingot. Okay, we got another minute or so. How am I doing for fuel? Oh, so much for my sticks. Oh, hang on, hang on. Half in there, and we go ahead and light it again, and like so. And then we got to go ahead and make two more short handles. Uh, one, two, and then what we can do, since we're already here, uh, find the right page. We can go and make the hammer. Once the handles are done, it'd be nice if they showed like a little crafting cue to let you know where things are. We can make the hammer, and we could probably make the axe right away too. Uh, what am I missing here? Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, oh, the axe is going to require a long handle. All right, uh, let's get my uh, pliers. Come on, there we go. I'll put that down there. And we are gonna make a copper pickaxe. Yes, I admit they could definitely work on that a little bit, make it a little more user friendly, we'll call it. I don't have any inventory space. Ha 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 ha. Now I do. And we gotta put this out before burn off for all our fuel. All right, now we'll go back into here and let's see. Okay, so the axe needs a long handle. I'm pretty sure that's why it's not being made. Uh, the pickaxe might have to as well. Let's find out. Yeah, long handle for the pickaxe and long handle for that. 
So we make another long handle. And then we can go ahead and start making our, the rest of our tools. Uh, go ahead and make a pickaxe. No, we can't. So I gotta go over here where the, the actual handle is. And the cop pickaxe. What do you mean? Do I actually have to have it in my inventory? Oh, come on. What kind of garbage is that? Oh, it's crafting already. Never mind. It was in queue. And an axe. Hooray, we have copper tools. Maybe we can get rid of these garbage things. Uh, I'm gonna wait till this is done before I walk away from this table. And ta-da, we have copper tools. Go put them in the primitive chest over here. Hey, get rid of you. Get rid of, oh, excuse me. Get rid of you, get rid of you. And pick you up and put you in here too. Because nobody wants you. Really? Does it really have to be in my inventory? Uh, in, in my inventory, and then it's the chest. Okay. Uh, that works. Alright, now we go ahead and hotkey that. Hotkey that. And where is my pickaxe? There's my pickaxe. Okay, and then we will hotkey that. Alright, let's take the axe for a spin, shall we? Let's go cut down a tree. See how fast this takes. Or how fast it goes. We go for a nice big palm over here. Or cocoa tree. Never mind, that one's already been harvested. Oh yeah, much faster. Twice, if not three times, what I was doing before. I think it was only doing four or six a hit. So much better. We'll leave those there, pick them up later. Uh, other than that, what would be next? Um, hmm, hang on. Now, we're coming close to time, but there's one thing we can do. We can deal with our bed here. So I just needed five more na five nails. Oh, what was that other thing I needed too? Get some sort of fabric. See if I can figure out what that is. Not in there. It's not a bandage. Oh no. Hey, cool. There's an actual backpack. Backpack. We can get an upgrade eventually. Uh, yeah, I had a fear that was going to have, have to be that way. We got to get into this. Start processing fibers and into cloth and stuff like that. So we're probably going to have to do that in the next episode. But by the looks of it, we might have to start getting into wind power. Because I think this is all going to be like wind powered machines. Which means we're going to get into the windmill. Which means making nails and... All sorts of stuff. Sadly, I won't have a bed today. That's just not the case. I'm going to be sleeping on the floor again. I like how we can make a sewing machine. Cool. And there's the lathe, of course. But I think this is a good place to call it. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.